why did I eat this up like this? <laughs> I will always have to work. And if I do not work, I do not survive. I thought about Atlanta. Oh, I can't wait until I move and like do a little moving vlog. <laughs> I'm not one of them. <laughs> Ooh, I look a hot mess. Hey y'all, my name is Brinika B. If you are new here to my channel, please be sure to like this video, go catch up on my old videos, and of course, subscribe to my channel. And girl, if you've been here, hey welcome back i want to go to home goods because i saw some like pumpkin mugs on amazon that i wanted to get being that it's like basically fall now but the shipping was just taking too long is it me or is amazon prime not priming lately so i want to go see what home goods have and then i have a lunch i have like lunch today um with one of my friends at four and i'm really excited because we're going i'm going well I, I don't know if like they've ever been but town hall in jacksonville is over in the san marco area like i'll be seeing it on tiktok and instagram but i've never been and y'all i'm gonna look at their menu and at first i was just like we could just do drinks and appetizers and so i look at the appetizers or like their small plates um and i was like oh that duck fat cornbread have y'all ever had duck fat cornbread if you live in Jacksonville, Calvert Chop House has, like, really good duck fat cornbread. So, I was like, okay, I, like, okay, I've had that before. I may have to get that. And then they also had, like, a kale salad. And I'm like, I may have to get that, too. But, girl, I started scrolling down and saw where they had pan seared duck. And let me tell y'all something. I love duck. So, if I'm hungry girl bump just getting a little appetizer i'm finna get me some duck yeah let me go get that together and i'll see y'all in a bit why did i eat this up like this like when i tell y'all these lashes gave me such a hard time i don't know if this is a sign telling me i need to go back to getting lash extensions or if i need a new lash glue lash glue but i haven't did strips in so long y'all and they gave me a run for my money today they really did and girl it is 148 and i have not left my house yet but I, but i you know what i said i was like why can't i enjoy slow days like why can't i just go with the flow of the day like i don't have to do 15 to 20 different things in a day like this is you know like my weekend i need to enjoy my slow days I think what is best is to go to the Target down South Side, which would be so much more convenient because there's also a Home Goods right next door. I did not feel like putting heat on this bob, so I found this old scarf and put it on, gold little earrings. I'm still on my period and I feel so bloated. Lord have mercy, like my uterus just feel heavy as hell. Wow. Whoa, yeah, look at me dead in my eyes. I know that you know that a nigga ain't lying. Too much respect. All of my shorty BDs, they know not to try. Too much respect. I used to hand out CDs before they were buying. Whoa, she loved me so much, it seemed like she died. Let's get this party started. Cause something sound off. And last night it did get a little weird because it was this man my mom's company invited like they had like a family and friends day so we went out to main event last night and like they had like a whole bunch of food for us that we didn't have to pay for so you know i was going um uh, we did bowling and my niece got to play some games but my mom had been watching this man for about 30 or 40 minutes girl he was in main event with an anime shirt on and no shade to the anime people. Like some baggy pants with a backpack on 
going to like different games pretending like he was playing games and if you don't know main event is kind of like a dave and busters um he was going up to different games pretending to be playing games but he really wasn't but just walking around looking at people like definitely giving pedal vibes and honestly a place like main event dave and busters disney world universal to me those those are like hot spots for for pedophiles like just go there just to look at kids and honestly a per a grown adult to me it's weird a grown adult who goes to kid friendly places without a kid they not even in like a group they just by themselves you weird and we ended up telling like a few of the we told like two of the employees there and they started watching him too and i think when we was pulling off we saw that they had them pulled like their security team out. i'm like yeah y'all need to watch people y'all need to watch people and he had like an ipad like i wouldn't be surprised if he was trying to like sneak pictures of kids and stuff y'all just really never know there are so many pedophiles out in this world and the scary part about pedophilia is there is no cure for it <clears throat> there is no there is no cure for pedophilia like there is nothing you can do there is no form of medication there is no form of therapy that can change a person's um sexual attraction and it's it's just so like why is why does this even have to exist in our world you know what i'm saying it's it's just like i couldn't imagine what i yeah i couldn't imagine like being a parent like i'm pretty sure that is like a very scary scary feeling like you can't watch your child 24 7 and this creeps everywhere oh my gosh and it's like majority of pedophiles in my opinion based off of like my work experience they work in school like they work in places where they have easy access to children and that i do girl but yes we told him last night child we gotta pray for these people come on sister and let's go pray for these niggas and we're gonna pray for these niggas. Have mercy, right, Jesus. Right. Niggas don't know how I live, but that's because they live at the high. Man. Oh, that's stepping on shit to this pot. He brought me the money sealed up. I still had to count it. I cannot just hide. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, that's that sex in the bank. Tell him to open a safe. I hate a privileged rapper who don't even know what it takes. The diamonds ain't here like a rainbow. That's because the neck is a frame. Her. Whoa. from now on before i do anything before i buy anything for my house i'm going to home goods first they got so much cute stuff and home goods i mean so much cute stuff now they did not have uh, any like they have more of like Halloween home decor rather than fall season. I went in there looking for some pumpkin shaped mugs. They had a lot of Halloween like style stuff, but Halloween, baby, I want fall. You know what I'm saying? Like fall stuff. I did get a compliment from this lady. She was giving suburban mom. She was like, oh my gosh, you're so pretty with your scarf. Thanks, girl. So now we're gonna go to Target. I am so hungry, y'all. It is 3.02. So I got like an hour and a half into my lunch reservations. It's early September and I'm really trying to figure out what am I gonna do next month. Y'all, next month is not only my birthday, but it's also homecoming. And I just don't know. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at me dead in my eyes. You see all the time that I had to go slide. Too many sticks, we go to war with whoever ain't never been by. Too many sticks, I was that your ops and none of them died. Pussy, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Why you pull up at one in the morning and sit on the edge of the bed? Texting emojis, telling got eggplant busting went over her head. Catching my side of the studio, make him repeat what he said. Pussy, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, let's have sex in the car. Oh the Maybach came with a bar. I'm wiping my dick with a bra. Snipe his ass. He got hit in the head before. As y'all can see, I got me a pumpkin shaped mug and it was only five dollars. Now, I really should have went to Target first because Target had y'all know the cup I picked up in Home Goods. Target had a like cup with a lid and a straw for five dollars, bro. And it was pink. Only thing is, it wasn't translucent. And like with this, I wanted to find a pumpkin shaped mug that was translucent. Like, I like stuff to be clear, but this is about as good as it's gonna get, um, which is fine. Y'all, my chest hurts so bad <clears throat> from when I was throwing up like two days ago. I was throwing up like early in the morning. But it's like when I haven't eaten anything, I don't have anything to throw up. And I'm sorry, I got allergies real bad, y'all. Now, I'm not one of them <laughs> kind of people, but <laughs> I hit you with a little <laughs> every now and then. But I didn't have anything to throw up. And I don't know if y'all have ever experienced that, but it's like you're gagging on your own saliva. And you're almost choking. And so, like, like my chest be hurting afterwards. So, now my chest hurt, but... Baby, when I tell you, I'm not going to be late for lunch because I haven't eaten all freaking day and I need to look at that cocktail menu. Because who, baby? I'm so hungry. So, we finna go and have some lunch. No. My own cousin, baby, we all got her. I don't know how these process work. Let me try. I thought about Atlanta. Atlanta. Atlanta is I would move there for like career opportunities because they do have a lot why you chose dallas over houston almost, almost. you don't give me dallas you don't even give me texas you know what you give me you give me like georgia something like that thank you sir well just because i said georgia don't mean i mean atlanta so dallas is busy I've been there a couple times. Thank you. This is probably finna be one of my new favorite restaurants. Like BB, BB right now, that's one of my favorite restaurants here. And this is the song from Sister Act. Sister Act. You know what I'm saying? Sister Act. With Whoopi Goldberg. Yeah. This rude to be vlogging. This is my job. I'm trying to get to the bed. Is set up. It's a sectional, but the couch, this sectional is just too big for my living room. I should have got a couch, okay? Welcome to like the next day or like the next two days because it's Tuesday. Just got off from work not too long ago. Came home. So I finally took that bob out, y'all. Bob is out. Who bought it? Not me. Um, so I need to wash my hair. Oh, and y'all, I don't know if I talked about this in my coming back video, but I ended up getting 10 inch dream weaver hair for the bob. Thinking, you know, I want something blunt, woody whoop. But it didn't even dawn on me that my actual hair is longer than 10 inches. Um, and so but I, I'm not the type of person that's like afraid to cut my hair. Like if I need a trim, I need a trim. Um, if I need to let some go, I'm fine with letting some go. So, you know, of course I was like, girl, if you need to cut my hair to make it blend and make it even, by all means, go ahead and do that. But that's something I just didn't think about that my hair was longer than 10 inches, but whatever. But I need to wash up a few dishes first because I don't know about y'all, but I don't wash my hair in the shower. And I don't because hair gets everywhere. 
And it is so hard cleaning surfaces when your hair is like spread out. I, I just don't like it. Um, I don't like the hair that get on the wall. Like how the hair even get on the wall? I, I just don't like it. So I wash my hair in my kitchen. Judge your mama, not me. I am expecting a few packages from Amazon today. And I was so surprised when I got home that I didn't see any in front of my door or that I didn't get a notification while I was at work that my packages had been delivered. So I don't know what's going on with that. I did get a package. Let me tell y'all one thing about Nespresso, baby. Nespresso shipping, eating everybody. Eating everybody. And y'all, this coffee smells so good. Like, I can smell it through the box. But I ordered some new coffee pods. Maybe either Friday night or Saturday morning. This box was delivered Sunday morning. Like, Nespresso don't play no games. Is somebody trying to come in this house? In this hallway? Do y'all see all that? First of all, that table, that used to be my entryway table until I got a new one. So I need to figure out what to do with this entryway table. But this bag, before I left to go to Miami, you know, I had to clean out my trunk because everybody needed to put their bag somewhere. So I go and open up my trunk to clean it out. And it's this big bag of just stuff that I need to go through and figure out what I'm going to do with it. And on the other side of the table is a bag full of stuff that I've been meaning to take to Goodwill for the past few weeks now. And it's just been sitting there like... Okay, so let me tell y'all. So tomorrow is a very exciting day. Um, This will be the first time I've ever toured one of the state forensic hospitals. Um, And so like I get to reserve like one of the company cars and drive there you know get a look at the facility um way people sleep and things like that um their admissions and discharge departments and processes i was about to say get ready with me <laughs> but let's just say spend the rest of the day with me after spend my five to nine with me after my nine to five definitely need to find me some cute lounge clothes because this is this is it this would be a cute thumbnail oh i can't wait until i move and like do a little moving vlog <laughs> this house of mine really should have had a dishwasher like I I really don't like the fact that I don't mind hand washing dishes, y'all, but a dishwasher is just so much more convenient. And then I have to have a dish rack. Uh I should have had a dishwasher. <laughs>
When I say seven, you say eight. Because that's exactly what I did with this type of makeup, honey. Now I have to try to hurry up and go because the um, our company cars are first come, first serve. So, so let's go to work. Good morning. I have just taken a fresh shower, did some skincare. Um, and I'm about to start getting ready for work in a little bit, but I did want to, you know, come through, tell y'all about yesterday because I have a very busy day today. Um, and although I could vlog, I, I really just want to focus on like getting a lot of work done. Y'all, the visit to the, well, one of the state hospitals, it was so much fun. I did think like... We went to one of the state hospitals, but we also went to um, a nursing home that's in partnership with the state that takes like forensic clients. I did think like they probably know we come in, so they're going to, you know, have everything in order. But I, I appreciate it. But the facilities were very clean, especially the nursing home. Like as soon as you walked in the nursing home, you smelled a fresh aroma of like bleach, pine saw. It smelled really good. But at the state hospital, um, we got to see like a few different programs that they have, which really warmed my heart. And it made me miss working face to face with clients. Like it made me, it reminded me of the work I was doing when I was working in the prison and I was in mental health confinement, you know, creating activities. I don't like to use the word inmates, creating activities for the clients or for the patients. Um, they had like and incompetent to proceed um, class going on, you know, educating them on the court system and how things work. They had a social skills class going. They had art therapy, music therapy, and shout out to the people on the grounds that's really doing the work. Shout out to the social workers, the art therapists who are certified, music therapists who are certified. Shout out to the... Um, forensic specialists shout out to the people who are on the grounds face to face with the clients um you know really spending majority of the time with these people um and really really like putting your all into helping them become successful i can't say enough how much the people on the grounds are appreciated but go so unnoticed so if you are one of those people Shout out to you, girl, or boy. I have, like, what I need to do right now. <laughs> I'm going to follow up with a few people, reach out to a few people so that they can have my contact information. I want to also make, like, a contact list for myself. Um, and when I reach out to people, I just, you know, let them know, hey, you know, it was so nice meeting you yesterday. Here's my information. Be sure to pass it along to anyone who needs it. Um, and if you are ever in need of anything, I am here for you. Like, that's what I love to do is to let people know that headquarters is here. I, that, and that's really how I feel. Like, I feel like I'm a problem solver here for you. Any issues that you may come in, you know, contact with, let me know. And it is my duty to solve them. I definitely have to go through my emails because I had my work phone on me yesterday and I was just, you know, periodically checking it. And it was just like, I, tomorrow I'm going to spend a lot of time going through emails and handling things and, you know, following back up with people. I also need to take off tomorrow because my niece is going on a field trip, y'all, and they need a chaperone. And so I put my name on her permission slip. I don't know if they select certain people, but I'm hoping that they select me and let me know um when i was a kid i used to always want my mama to go on field trips with me but y'all my mama worked a lot oh and when we toured the nursing home i feel like i got a first class seat into how nursing homes are ran and like the issues that they face and i just felt like my heart was just so heavy yesterday because it's just like running a nursing home has to be one of the most stressful roles ever um and it's like a lot of a lot of like different policies and things that control different things and it's just a lot 
though. But y'all, let me tell y'all how I been going viral, girl. So before I started traveling to do my tours yesterday, I had took pictures. You know, I did my makeup. My hair was cute. I need to fix it because I sleep while and my scarf came off last night. Um, so I was like, let me just take some pictures, y'all. And then I was just like, you know, I'm feeling really not inspirational, but I was really feeling like I don't brag on myself enough. Like I, and I, I think it's great to be humble, but I really don't think I give myself the credit that I have earned or the credit that I deserve. And I really don't brag on myself enough. And it just made me think like people should really be bragging on themselves. Like I have accomplished so many things in my 26 years of living that I should be very proud of instead of diminishing or belittling or, you know, saying, well, that's not that big of a deal. Girl, yes, it is. It is that big of a deal, you know? And my last vlog, make sure y'all watch that if you haven't already, is kind of what inspired the post because I had been thinking about like, wow, I really used to work at Walmart and there's nothing wrong with working at Walmart. But when I did get my first job, I just remember having so many thoughts of like, dang, I wonder where I'm going to be in 10 years or I wonder, I, I just wonder where am I going to be? What am I going to be doing? How am I going to feel? What am I going to look like? Or like, when is that change going to happen? When is that transition from this point to this point going to happen for me? So it was great to be able to reflect and just, you know, see how far I've come. I really went viral on Twitter and not because of the picture, but I'm in this group on Facebook and it's the name of the group is Black Girl Luxury, Femininity, Elegance, Confidence, and Wealth Building. Um, if you are into Facebook groups, to me, this is a great one. Like a lot of black women um, post in this group about their careers, um, you know, confident tips and advice or different like elegant things and like how to build wealth and things like that. It's a very positive centered um group. So, you know, I this is the caption that I posted. I posted, I remember my first job was at Walmart as a cashier when I was 18 years old. Eight years later, here I am at 26 as the regional forensic liaison for the state of Florida. I managed the Northeast region comprised of 20 counties, and today I toured and inspected for the first time one of the state's forensic hospitals. I've worked in the community, jails, and a prison, which have all been beneficial to my success today. To my nine to five girlies, never stop educating yourself, always seek better opportunities, and give yourself the flowers you've earned. And y'all, the post got 5,400 likes. So y'all, the picture actually got more than that. And I'm going to tell you, if it ain't one thing a black woman going to do or black women going to do, black women is going to boost your head up. They are going to pour into you. They are going to affirm you. Like, this is one of the things I love about being a black woman. Like, a stranger can walk past you with, you know, some nice braids. And the first thing we'll probably say is, okay, braids. Like, how can you not love that? Um... And so, like, I just got a lot of compliments and a lot of comments. I got a lot of people asking me um, about my educational background, my work experience. And so, to me, this is just, this is just yet another reason why I need to re-record um, my chit-chat video on how I got to this point. So, yeah, shout out to everybody who was telling me thank you and congratulations. And it had me thinking, do people think I just got this job? Like, next month, I would have been in this position for a year. But I don't think people know that. Um, but people were saying like, congratulations, congratulations. I'm just like, thank you. But this isn't anything new. Oh, let's go on over to Twitter. I'm not calling it X. I will never call this app X. To me, this is always going to be Twitter. But the reason why I say I went viral on Twitter is because um, there was this tweet that I saw. And I... I quoted the tweet with a response, and my quoted response is what's going viral. 
um, the quoted response has 6,659 retweets, 239 quotes, 14,300 likes, and 581 bookmarks. So, if you want to know what is going on, somebody tweeted... My pet peeve is being promised something unprovoked and the person still doesn't deliver like I didn't even ask you. And it got the candy meme on it. So my quoted response was, can we talk about the mental damage this does? The disappointment teaches you to not have expectations and to not feel those emotions of excitement out of fear of being let down. Again, your word is everything. Please stop making promises you can't keep or don't intend on keeping. Y'all, this tweet actually got more likes and retweets as well. And then I responded with a comment and said, and for the love of God, Please don't do it to children because that's really like where I think a lot of that damage stems from people's childhoods and then they become hyper independent adults such as myself, um, unable to ask people for help, feeling uncomfortable asking people for help, um, having a hard time trusting people who give you their word, you know, because in the back of your mind, you're always thinking, oh, I need to be prepared just in case they don't come through because you've been so traumatized and you're so used to people not coming through for you. And this made me think about me, myself, and I by Beyonce. I really have myself. It, it's like, you know, there are some people who... If they just want to stop working and maybe take a year off and go live at home or if they or, you know, they have the luxury of having options, you know, to not pay bills or to just go and relax and clear their mind and get their mind right and, you know, not have to worry about big things. I don't have that luxury. I will always have to work. And if I do not work, I do not survive. I always have to have myself. I always have to come through for myself. I always have to be there for myself because if not me, then who? I know for a fact I'm not going to let me down. I know for a fact I'm always, you know, come through for me. Because a lot of people on Twitter have been saying... Um, people are self-centered. Like, why are you expecting people to give you their money? And I'm like, nowhere did I mention anything about money. Like, this has nothing to do with money. People promise to pick their kids up and never do it. People promise to do things with their children for their children and never do it. People promise to do, to do things with or for their partners and never do it. This happens in friendships. Like, this happens in multiple different relationships. And most of the time, it's not even centered around money you know what i'm saying um and the emphasis on this topic is unprovoked you are promising to do things for people who did not even ask you to do what you are promising only for you to not deliver you are waking up going to a person saying hey i want to do this for you i'm going to do this for you they didn't ask you and then you don't even do it so it's like what was even the point of wasting your time and their time I remember somebody told me they was going to get my nails done for a vacation I was taking. And I thought, oh, you know, that's pretty thoughtful. You know, they want to take the load off. Now, mind you, in the back of my mind, I'm like, girl, please have your stuff together because you just never know. And, of course, the person didn't do it. And I can't even say I was mad because these are my nails. Um, But when I'm... When I mentioned, well, I didn't even mention it. They saw me with my nails done and said, oh, why you didn't remind me? Why do I need to remind you to do something you came to me and said that you was going to do for me? That's weird. I have other examples, but I'm going to stop right there. But I haven't had any breakfast because last night when I went to um Walmart, I went and got this because I see a lot of people drinking this. 
And I've been following a few dentists on TikTok and Instagram, and I've been seeing them say that you need fluoride. And if you're going to use either a toothpaste or a mouthwash that has fluoride in it, you don't need to rinse your mouth out with water afterwards because you are getting rid of the fluoride, which you need. So turns out I picked up toothpaste that had fluoride in it. But I'm not finna keep toothpaste in my mouth after I brush my teeth. That's not finna happen. So I brushed my teeth and then I gargled and rinsed with this. And it's not bad. To me, this bottle just looked like that tastes so nasty. This bottle just made me think about medicine. But I've been seeing really good reviews. So I went on ahead and got it. And it's not bad at all. And I have I did not rinse my mouth out with it because the in the direction said um use once a day after brushing your teeth with a toothpaste vigorously swish 10 milliliters of rinse between your teeth for one minute and then spit out do not swallow the rinse do not eat or drink for 30 minutes after rinsing so i guess after 30 minutes that's when i can eat or drink something but i don't even know what i'm gonna have um so yeah girl i'm about to go get ready for work oh i did want to show y'all some stuff i got from Amazon. So here is the duvet cover set that I got. I'm going to have everything linked in my Amazon storefront. This look pretty thin. Now I am going to wash everything and dry it because I want it to smell good. And girl, let me make sure this is in a king. Okay, so I got a California king duvet cover because i've been seeing everybody say when you have a duvet your duvet cover needs to be bigger than a duvet insert so i have a king size bed which means i need a california king duvet cover my duvet insert is a king here are the new sheets i got but these bed sheets are from the company milani i saw a girl post about these on tiktok and I got these in a king size, of course. This is the king insert, which kind of scares me because it's in a little, like this, look at this box. How is this supposed to be a king comforter? Unless this is one of those things that like expand when you, you know, take it out the package. I don't know, but girl, we're going to see. Let me go and get ready for work. <laughs> Y'all, I'm having Beyonce with drawers. Y'all mom ever told y'all if y'all ride with the light on, you'll get a ticket. They some liars. But y'all, I'm having Beyonce with drawers. Like anytime I hear like the opening melody of Dangerous in Love, I always think about to like the opening of the concert. <laughs> And then she says the city she's in. So like when I was in Miami. Da, 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 Miami. Ah! Da, 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 da. I love you. <laughs> I am on my way to Chipotle. I just put some gas in my car. And I am starving, Marvin. So we're going to Chipotle for a chicken bowl. I don't think I'm going to vlog inside of there. Because y'all, I still got to get used to like vlogging out in public like especially when i go into like stores and stuff because i just know people be looking and i don't like people looking at me like even riding with my light on right now i feel like people are you know driving past me looking at me and probably see me talking like what is wrong with her girl let me turn this off but how about i took off from work tomorrow well i used the personal day but still for absolutely nothing y'all remember how i said i'm a um be a chaperone on my niece field trip girl how about they gonna say oh in order to be a chaperone you have to be you have to get registered with the school board which listen it makes complete sense because you don't know you know who people family be to just be letting them around kids and like the school board needs to conduct a background check but when y'all sent the permission slip requesting chaperones y'all should y'all should have said that because what was the point of sending out that permission slip if y'all know chaperones needed to be you know evaluated by the school board like you should have said that y'all 
I think this is going to be a pretty good place to end the vlog. I am off tomorrow, which I'm so excited about. You know, I thought I was going to go on a field trip, but that's neither here nor there. Tomorrow is just going to be like a girl get it together day. Like, girl, get organized, sort through some stuff. Yeah, girl, I'm going to catch y'all at my next vlog. Thank you so much for tuning in to my channel. Once again, I really appreciate all of the love and all of the support. Um, if you are new here, please, and you enjoyed this video, please do me a favor and like this video and subscribe to my channel. And if you've been here, hey, girl, welcome back. And I'm going to see y'all next time.